Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model this kind of buttons like this. I will show you my techniques to model this kind of objects. Actually, this was from a challenge from our Discord group, and I decided to model that because a lot of people ask how to approach these kind of shapes. And this is the result. I think I got really close, not the exact thing, but I believe it's gonna give you an idea. And uh, this is the final mesh. So without further ado, let's start. Let's start with image plane. I will first go to front view, press middle mouse, then press shift and V. Go to back and select image plane. And when I look at the Y axis, I can see that my image plane is a little off so i will change my offset something like that it doesn't have to be perfect this will be enough let's give some transparency then i will add a cylinder let's change the size to match the shape after that i will increase my height segments because we will need them it will be enough also, I will not need caps, so I can turn that off. I can make it editable. Press C. I will add a subdivision surface. Press Alt. Select subdivision surface. Now, I will select these edge loops by double clicking on them. So we should scale mode and scale these edges to mesh the shape. I will add a loop cut right here so I can scale that. I think we will need another one over here. Okay, that will be enough. I will use that mesh specifically for projection. Which means that I will switch to polygon pen tool and uh, create my new mesh over that mesh. So let's make this subdivision surface editable. So we will get a perfectly smooth surface. Also, uh, if you check the shape of this glass, you can see that I can divide that object into four. Let me show you. Let's go to top view and let's select these points by rectangle selection. First, I will delete these. Then I can delete them as well. Make sure that these points are on the X and Z axis. That way we can use symmetry. If I press Alt and select symmetry and do that one more time and change the mirror plane you will see that I will get the same shape since I have a smaller piece it's gonna be easier to work on this whole object now I want to do another thing I want to draw these lines on my mesh so I can easily build my new mesh over that piece so what we do I will simply jump into the to the paint layout enable 3d setup wizard for body paint i will say next these should be selected say next say next for the resolution 1k will be enough let's say finish now i can draw on that i will enable these symmetry deformers Go to layers, I will create a new layer. I will select brush, it's already selected. Now I will draw these lines on my mesh. Let's change our display to guard out shading, I believe. But this is not gonna be enough. I want to see the inside. I will select all of them and enable X-ray. Then as I said, I will draw these shapes on my mesh. 
and I will come back. Alright, I have finished drawing, now we can level up and select mesh, polygon pen and make sure that you enable the reproject result, this is really important. I can turn off these symmetries and I will only work on that one. To select any object, let's start from here. Right, I think this is going to be enough. No, I need to do another thing. I will need a center edge loop between these polygons. I will use them later. So first thing, I want to select these edges. Let's try to use ring selection. Now right click, select, Ew, what was that, ah, edge cut, and one will be enough, not gonna be perfect, which will, I will need a line cut, enable single line, then this all this, Okay, now I will open my material manager, create a new one, let's make it something different like that, now I will select all the polygons, right click and apply, I will use these selections later, now I will go back to polygon pen tool one more time and fill in these gaps.
okay i am done with that even though i tried to make them even you can see that they are not that perfect not good so we will need an external hand to do that for us it's gonna be smoothing deformer but before doing that i need to make a symmetry so let's do that quickly switch to model mode press alt select symmetry one more time change the direction i can hide my projection mesh let's turn this off for now because i need to make these edges flat to use symmetry perfectly double click on these edges we are pressing the z so i will set my z both size and position to zero then we have this side i am facing x so i will set x to zero both position and size if i enable this now i should get a perfect symmetry if you remember i made these selections now i will use them before doing that let me switch my layout to standard because i will use a bunch of new materials let's go to selection field selection before doing that make sure that you selected these polygons selection field selection let's start from here and i am gonna select this by hand also i believe that i made a wrong selection over here so let's select them as well now i'm gonna duplicate that material press ctrl duplicate let's change color right click apply it's gonna create a selection which we will use later i will double click on that one more time this time let's select here create another material change the color and apply go back to the selection this time let's select this change the color I think the last part is here. So like this. Right click. Oh no, I need to make another one. Let's make it something brighter. I will make that symmetry editable. Press C. Put that out of that group. Delete that one. We can see that we still have these selections when i select them i will get them all now i will do another thing in order to use smoothing deformer perfectly i need to separate these selections because we will need borders if i use a smoothing deformer just like that you will see that i will lose the borders that I have drawn on this bottle. So in order to keep this, I need to make a border for smoothing deformer. So I will go to the selections and split these polygons. I will not use split though because I want a single mesh. For that, I will use disconnect. Let's start from the second selection, right click and disconnect. Let's disconnect them as well, these two. I will turn off shading mode and put the subdivision surface so you can see the effect. Okay, let's turn this off for now. I will enable smoothing deformer. Perfect. We have some bad points, but we can change them later. This time I will add another deformer. It's going to be shrink wrap. I will put it under smoothing deformer. Smoothing deformer needs an object. 
So I will make symmetries enable for the projection mesh. But I will put that into a connect object so I can put that connect to target object for the shrink wrap. I will hide that. And you can see the effect of shrink wrap and smoothing deformer. Now I can right click on the polygon object and say current state object. This is going to make these deformers editable into a single object. I can delete that one and we can hide that one. Maybe we can use that later. I will put that into subdivision group surface. Let's try to fix this bad point first. But there is a one big step before doing that. I need to reconnect these points because they are all separate. So why don't we use connect object? Press Alt, select connect. I will enable subdivision surface so I can see the unconnected points. Let's check the mesh. For example, here I will go to connect object and increase my tolerance to something like 0.2. Yes. Okay, everything looks perfect. I will make it that connect object editable. Press C. Let's try to fix this at points. So instead of working on the whole object, why don't we delete these sides? Then we can use symmetry object one more time. This is going to be much faster. Also, I don't think we will need this. Yeah, absolutely. I will just double click on them and dissolve. Okay, this is going to be enough. Now let's set these positions one more time to zero, both for size and position. Okay, that side is good. Press Alt, Symmetry, one more time. I will enable these options because I will make some extrusions. And why not we enable shading I will double click on that selection then I will select normal move and push these polygons back just like that let's select this okay I am gonna turn off shading it's confusing I will push them down as well then this selection that one and this is the last one let's enable subdivision surface yeah not bad some edges are too sharp but I have another thing for them let's make that editable press C I will delete this let's rename to bottle, press Alt and select smoothing deformer. This time I'm not gonna use 100%. Let's lower that. I will, I just want a subtle effect. Something like that. Let's put that bottle into a subdivision surface. I think I. Or got to uh, move some of the points. Yes, that one. It looks like we lost 
the exact shape of the bottle, but that is really easy to fix. Just select the bottle, press shift, and then FFT deformer. I will make the Y grids something like 10. No, it's too much. Let's make it 8. Then play with this points, select them, and scale them. Okay, I will keep this. I'm not gonna make this editable. Maybe we can use. Maybe we can change some of them later. I can't hide that though. We don't need to see that. You know what? I will unhide that FFT because I need to make that editable. Because I forgot that we have something to finish, like the bottom part. So I will put that smoothing deformer out of that hierarchy. Then I click on the bottle and current state the object. Can delete that and put it back. Now I will double click on here. It says I have 32 edges. So I will need a disk with that 32 segments to make this look perfect. I will lower that. I can enable snap. Then I will go back to these edges and make them flat and move it on the disk perfect now i am gonna take that smoothing deformer one more time because i need to make this into one object connect objects and delete i did that because i want to merge these edges select both of them right click stitch and sieve and connect them at that point we don't need these polygons i'll press ctrl extrude scale one more time or let's go all the way down scale it i will add a loop cut here then i can scale this for the bottom part i can make an extrude then finish it then i can collapse this let's use that symmetric deformer one more time put it under the disc you can see that when i use symmetric deformer i will lose the tails on the bottom part but I have something for that, like fall off. Let's use a boxed field and make it bigger. I will stop it when it's about to touch the bottom part. Then I am going to change the inner offset to 100%. Perfect. So now if I enable subdivision surface, the bottom part will not be affected. Also, let's not forget to close the top. Press Ctrl. Do that two times, then collapse this. I can make this flat. Maybe a loop cut here to make it sharper. Then we have this part. Let's select these edges. I will bevel them. So I can select center edges and scale them. I will need these loop cuts. Maybe for the insides. Let's select these and scale them. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Now we have another thing to do. If we want to render that, we will need something for the inside. So we need to have a kind of polygon thickness for that. I will use a cloth surface. Press Alt, select cloth surface. We will not use subdivisions, so let's 
set it to zero it just one thickness let's make it minus five i want to see the inside so i am just gonna select this and selection i select it hmm. not bad you can use that selection show all now i will make a quick simple render scene and come back i made a simple scene with a single hdni and the black background so you can see that we got really close to that one not the exact thing but i think you got the idea to how to create these kind of shapes the good part is you can go to smoothing deformer and change our strength for example if we want something really smooth we can increase that or if you want something really sharp we can lower that so that was it guys i hope you find it useful and learn something new and i see you in the next service bye